Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15. So in this video, I will show you guys everything that you need to know regarding this update before you install it on your device. Now, before we get into all the details regarding iOS 15 and the things that you need to know, make sure to smash the like button of this video. That will help this channel a lot and of course will help this video do much, much better. All right, so first of all, we're starting with the size of the update. Now, iOS 15 will come to your device somewhere around five gigs from four to five. That's the range of the size of iOS 15. That, of course, will be always different on different devices and different based on which software you have currently installed on your device before updating to iOS 15. Now, if you have an older device, of course, the size will be much smaller and of course will be bigger if you have one of the newer devices. When trying to update to iOS 15, that will be very simple. You can do it, of course, over the year, as long as you have more than 50% battery on your device. And of course you have enough free space. Another way to do it, you go to settings, go to general, and of course software update and update from here. You can also do that via iTunes. And if you have a device on iOS, iOS 15 beta, then you need to go ahead and watch a video that I will leave linked right up there. And of course, that will help you update from the beta to the final version of iOS 15. Now, iOS 15 will again support all the devices that iOS 14 does. So all the iPhones, the same iPhones as on iOS 14 will be supported on iOS 15 as well. And that, of course, starting with the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus and newer. Now, one thing, of course, is that not all the new features of iOS 15 will work on all devices. We'll get to that in a second. Some of the key features of iOS 15 won't actually work on some of the old devices. When it comes to performance, iOS 15 is really good. I didn't have any like major issues with iOS 15 since beta one. I've used iOS 15 here on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which is my daily device every day since beta one has been released no problem whatsoever. Now going right here to Geekbench, you can see the Geekbench tests and we have right here the history and you will see that it has been quite consistent since beta one. So basically the same results doesn't mean that it's bad. Of course, we expect these to be improved with 15.1. But of course, right now, these are basically the results that you get like around 4,100 on the multi-core score and you will get like around 1,600 on the single core score. That which is what I got right here on the 12 Pro Max. Of course, iOS 15 on newer devices will be really great and I can expect it to be really good on older devices as well as of course, it doesn't have any like major changes that would require like a lot of CPU power, stuff like that. But of course, as I said, even in the beginning, a lot of the new features that are basically some of the best ones of iOS 15 are exclusive only to newer devices. So even though you get iOS 15 on older devices, you won't get a lot of the cool new features. Now, when talking battery, iOS 15 also is very stable. It has been since beta one. I didn't like have any major issues with battery as well. So just like performance, iOS 15 has been really consistent on battery life as well never had any like problems or battery drains whatsoever. Now, of course, we will have to wait and see for a few days when the public iOS 15 gets released to the public. And of course, a lot of people will get it and we might find like maybe like different devices and like different versions that will have maybe problems with battery or stuff like that. But as of right now, I haven't seen any like huge problems with battery. The battery life is good. Not the best ever, but it's really good. And of course, it will get you through the day without a problem. Now, of course, as just like the performance, you can expect the battery life also to be improved with the release of iOS 15.1. Let's now quickly talk about some of the biggest features that are coming to iOS 15 and one of them right here, live text basically allows you to copy text from anywhere on your device. You can see you can do that on any of your pictures. You can just go ahead and select text just like on your camera or anywhere, even on a website, maybe like an image on a website. You can just go ahead, select text and use it anywhere you want. That's really, really good. A very nice feature. And I believe a lot of iPhone users will find themselves using this feature daily on their iPhone. Another one that I really love 
is a new feature that you can find under general and then go to transfer and reset that's a new section and now you will have a new option here to prepare for a new iphone what this does it will basically give you free space on icloud to move your stuff to a new iphone so if you have of course the five gigs plan on icloud you cannot get all of your data there to move them to a new iphone this option right here will basically give you temporary space on iCloud for free so that you can move all of your data on the cloud and then of course restore them on the new iPhone that you get. Again, an amazing feature and of course it will help a lot of people. Another great feature is the drag and drop basically allows you to drag like files i can drag a photo right here from the photos app and just release it right here on the files app or maybe on a message stuff like that even text or a note or you can basically drop drag and drop any of the files on ios which again is really great and a lot of people will find it useful especially i see it being very useful on the ipad with the new features that apple has added to the drag and drop and of course another big one and Siri now works offline like a lot of stuff that doesn't require internet connection can be done on Siri now without having to be connected to the internet which is again very useful now a major feature that a lot of people have been requesting since iOS 14 has been released is the ability to rearrange your pages right here and even delete entire pages so if you have like a page with apps you had to actually remove the apps one by one now with iOS 15 you can just go ahead and completely remove a page of course that one delete the apps the apps will actually go to the app library and you can find them all of there but of course it will completely remove all the apps from the home screen though of course big features that apple has actually talked about and announced on wwdc 2021 but they are not coming to ios 15 we will have to wait for that probably 15.1 even 15.2 or maybe even later one of them being legacy contact basically allows us to add a contact so that in case of any like anything happens to you that contact will be able to basically get your data that you have on your iCloud another one ID on the wallet that is not coming with the initial release of iOS 15 and another big one universal control Apple has demonstrated that on WWDC 2021 it looked really good it's not coming with the first releases of the new softwares from Apple and a big one also share play like you can share stuff with people while on a FaceTime call or stuff like that that is not coming with the initial release of iOS 15. So I know a lot of people have been waiting for one of these features. These have been like announced and actually some of them even demonstrated and talked about on WWC 2021, but it's, they are not coming with the initial release. So we will have to wait for a few months for those features to come to iOS 15. And now let's talk about the release of iOS 15. So you can expect to get this update on your device on September 15th, like a week from today, at 10, 10 a.m. Pacific time, you can get iOS 15 on your device. That's what expected to be happen, and I believe that will happen. On the 15th of September, we'll get iOS 15, and of course, everyone who wants to update will be able to update to iOS 15. Now, the question is, of course, should you update or not to iOS 15? I suggest everyone update to iOS 15 even though it doesn't have like major features or changes it's still a great update it has like very useful features that Apple has added and it has like more than 300 new features and changes which of course a lot of them will be very very useful for a lot of people now again iOS 15 in a week from now and then you can expect iOS 15.1 I believe Apple should release the first beta of iOS 15.1 very, very soon. You can expect that to happen as soon as next week. And that, of course, should be really interesting and it should bring some really good features to iOS 15. So that's basically for this video, guys. iOS 15 in a week. Go ahead and update. It is an amazing update. Thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more iOS 15 videos. And I'll see you on the next one.